Now it's easy enough to generate standing waves in a spring or a string like this. First of all, we can have the first harmonic. otherwise known as the fundamental. And you can see when I'm doing this that I've got a node here at this end, a node at the far end, that's a position where there is no movement, and then an anti-node in the center. I can increase the frequency now and put in here another uh, frequency. And, uh, <clears throat> This will be the second harmonic, the second harmonic. And what you can see again here is a node where I'm holding it, a node in the center, and a node at the far end, as well as two anti-nodes, positions of maximum displacement. Now I can increase the uh, frequency again and get the third harmonic. So I've got the third harmonic there again and what you can see going is a certain number of uh, nodes and you can also notice the number of wavelengths. What I've got here now is one and a half wavelengths. So that's the third harmonic. I might even try and get a fourth harmonic. Right, I've eventually got that fourth harmonic, as you can see, and again, the length that I've got here now really makes up two wavelengths inside the string. And again, you can see the nodes and anti-nodes. So each time I'm changing the wavelength, and that total wavelength, that total length, uh, in this particular case, would have been the length of two waves.